In Harley Quinn, New York's mayor is cleaning up the city's homeless population, and his corrupt plan catches the attention of Harley and her team. We've got co-writers Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmiotti here to deal us in on the specifics of issue number 17. Um, in, in Harley 17, we get to see Harley actually be a homeless person. Um, the, the whole mayor taking care of his New York City's homeless situation, this is coming to a head. The storyline is coming to a head now. New York has hired cannibals to get rid of the homeless people. And we just thought, well, that's a crazy idea. And so she, uh, Spoonsdale, who's the chief of police, asks her to maybe if she can help find these guys, and they do find her. And we uh, deal with Eggy and Red Tool are on stakeout with Harley as she's in Prospect Park as she gets abducted. And the storyline continues from there from issue 18 and 19. So it's a three part story. Um, and it's it's the usual Harley Mad list. Just when you think you know where the story's going, it's gonna go somewhere else. But it's a, it's a lot of fun and, and uh, we're having a good time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jimmy, tell me a little bit more about this backup story that you're co-writing with the amazing Paul Dini. Uh, well, we're, we're, so what we're doing a thing called, it's, it's called uh, Harley Loves Joker. And there's six page backup stories with uh, with uh, Art by Brett Levins, Jay Bone, and Alex Sinclair. And the stories take place in the past. They take place when Joker and Harley were together as a couple and when they would go on their crime sprees in Gotham. And it would only be right to work with this the creator, one of the creators of Harley, which is Paul Dini. So Paul and I are writing these stories and they're connecting short stories. So every issue, it connects. It's six pages, next issue, it just keeps going and it, and it forms one big story over time. Uh, but there's so much fun and it's it's her past and it's, it's sort of like uh, what people liked about the animated series come to life in the book. So we're giving you a, a, a lot of bang for a two 99, you're getting <laughs> two different, a lot of bang for your bucks. Um, and, and it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's as a It's fun for tone. me because I don't have to do any of the work and I get to read it. So Jimmy, Amanda, where does Harley Quinn go from here? Where does she go? No, well, we, we have well, we have a lot of things coming up because we have our anniversary coming up. We have issue 25 coming up. Yeah. Um, we get it. The, we can. What we can guarantee is she goes where you're not going to expect her to go. And and uh, the the thing. That, Always try to keep her really unexpected. Yes. The, the, you, there's nobody that reads this book says, "Oh, I know what's going to happen in the next four issues." That doesn't happen with this book. And we're and actually we can give a little spoiler. Um, we're going to meet her parents. Yeah. Harley's parents. So yeah. we're going to see them and we're going to get to know them and we're going to understand a little bit of how Harley ticks based on mom and dad. Yeah, you know, they're just they're they're alive and well and living in Florida. Yeah, they live in Florida. <laughs> um, they they uh, yeah. She she's in the next couple of issues. They they threaten to uh, they come by. They're gonna stop by her house, and she has to deal with all this stuff going on. Yeah, her parents are coming over. So <laughs> and she, her place is a mess. Her place is a real mess. <laughs> so. Um, it, it's gonna it's gonna be fun, and that's that's the that's a that's a little bit of what we got coming up without spoiling too much. Yeah, sometimes Harley goes where Harley wants to go, and not where we want Harley to go. Yes, def it's definitely yeah. a strong character that yeah. dictates the situation at times. <laughs> Plus, if we find an opportunity in the story to to build something, to do some like to have right. our parents, we want to take that. Yeah. That's what's new with Harley Quinn, so run down to your local comic book store and pick up issue number 17. And while you're there, you're going to want to scope out Batman number 20 by Tom King. It's a really, really good issue. See you tomorrow, super friends.